Good evening. How are you going? What do you think of the finished studio? It looks great, doesn't it? I think it looks fantastic, and there's going to be much done here over the next few months. It's hard to believe that just over 12 months ago we had our conference session. How time flies when we're having fun. We had the excellent time over Easter camp. We've had our citywide evangelism campaign called The Last Empire. The Christ-focused One Project and much, much more. It's been full on and I've been truly inspired as I've traveled from church to church, attended the regionals and listened to your stories of God's leading. We have much to be thankful for in Western Australia. Since the last video that I sent you in March where I asked for you to share your thoughts and wisdom collectively, the following things have happened. First, as a result of the conversations we had about tithe, our conference has seen an increase in tithe of around 8%, and I praise the Lord for His and your faithfulness. If that trend continues through to the end of December, I believe that we will have a balanced budget instead of a deficit, and that's really, really exciting. Secondly, Pastor Heiss and Daniel Brazizhevich and the AMN crew, along with a group of wonderful volunteers, finished this studio at Advent Park, and it looks absolutely amazing. Your response to our second question in February, what would you like to see produced by AMN West, will be helping to galvanize their direction and their end product. I am proud of our AMN West team. They're evangelistic to the core, and the team has just come back from spending two weeks in our beautiful remote north. They were filming a three-day reaping mission where Pastor Doug Batchelor shared the gospel with 190 mostly indigenous folk, our literature evangelist and Pastor Leo Wright have been working the area for quite some time in preparation, and it was their friendship, their connection, their witness which brought folk out to hear Pastor Doug. The result? 68 individuals who asked for Bible studies, and all of that was filmed by our team who were able to give the freshly recorded DVDs to each person who came to the meetings. They also film stories of how God has blessed people, and you can see them now as they've been uploaded to Facebook and Vimeo. Please share them with your friends, your family, and folk who need to hear how Jesus saves even in modern times. Thirdly, in the video I asked you as church leaders to answer some questions, and I'd like for you to do that again. Please understand that these are thought bubbles that I've been exposed to in conversations with individuals in my travels around our wonderful conference, and I'm seeking your input to form the collective wisdom of the idea to see if we feel they are ideas to pursue further or to put on the bench straight away, never to be looked at again. Your wisdom, your thoughtful responses and input will be given consideration in the near future at our executive meetings. The first issue that I would like you to focus on is dealing with future planning in regards to things like land banking. Do you think it's a good idea for the conference executive board to look at growth areas around our state and consider purchasing land in those areas while it's still cheap for future church plants. The second and final focus question comes with a preamble. I personally love Easter camp, particularly when it falls during school holidays. This year we had a fantastic camp meeting with wonderful speakers who created significance in our lives. And what I really enjoyed was seeing folk from far and near come and stay and bring their children for the whole camp because it was during school holidays. All of our children, teen and youth sheds were filled to the brim and seeing the joy of our young people was inspiring. It's not full like that every year because we follow the Easter weekend model which changes dates from the middle of March to late April and does not take into consideration the school holiday calendar. So what are your thoughts about moving our big camp to a set schedule every year based on the first weekend of school holidays in April. Is that worth a thought or not? Thank you for taking the time as leaders and leadership teams to watch, to pray, to think, discuss, and comment. Your input is incredibly valuable to our conference. Let's see what blessings we'll be able to experience as we wait upon the Lord.